Well, hello Rockhounds, Lapidary Lovers, Mike here, welcome back to my channel. Once again, it's time to take a look inside one of my tumblers, but I think in this episode, we're going to do more than just take a look. Um, we're going to change things up a little bit with the tumblers here. Um, the way I normally operate is this big 12-pound tumbler in the back is always in rough grit, and it's full of rocks. Brand new rocks that have been put in, rocks that have been in there for weeks or even months, all in rough grit, getting tumbled and smooth. And then these other tumblers have rocks in finer grits. And that works pretty well, but I've got kind of a bottleneck. I'm actually producing more smooth rocks out of my rough tumbler here than I can run through my other tumblers. I've got a big backlog of stuff that needs the next stage after rough. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this tumbler off over here. Yeah, big heavy boy here. I'm going to pull that off. We're going to empty it out as per usual. Set aside the stuff that's ready to move on and the stuff that needs more time. But instead of refilling it with the stuff that needs more time and some fresh rocks and some rough grit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to refill it with the stuff that needs to go to stage two. And we'll run this in stage two for a few weeks just to clean up my backlog of stuff that needs stage two. And then we can go back to doing rough in it. So I think that's what we're going to do in this video. So let me get this um, dumped out, clean up the rocks, rinse them off good. We'll take them over to the bench and we'll look at them under the lights and we'll sort them. And then we'll find my uh, big backlog of stuff that needs stage two and fill it up and get it running again. All right, I think we're ready to start sorting now. If you've watched my videos before, oh, it's raining, it's thundering. Thunder might be a little loud. Uh, if you watched my videos before, you know I normally will clean up the rocks in a, in a colander like this and then sort them. The ones that are ready to go forward in the next grit go in a bucket of water over here. The ones that aren't ready go back in the tumbler drum. Well, this time we're going to do it a little different. After cleaning the rocks and cleaning the tumbler drum, I put them all back in here in water. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort them this way. The ones that are not ready to go forward go into this colander. And uh, when we're done sorting, they'll all go into storage until I am ready to put this back in rough grit. And they'll go back in it. The ones that are ready to move forward are going to go into the bucket of water as, as per usual. I hope you can hear me over the thunder. And those will get an ultrasonic treatment. And then those and uh, all the other stuff I have that's ready for medium grit We'll go in this bucket and we'll get it started. So let me get to sorting. So that's a really cool Dobell Ranch Petrified Wood, but it is not quite ready. So that can go in the bucket. Ah, some banded chalcedony that I found out fossil hunting in the White River Badlands. That's coming along nicely, but it's not quite ready. Uh, some more Dobell Ranch Petrified Wood. Again, not quite ready. Now, there are rocks that have been in here for weeks or months, and there's rocks that have only been in here for maybe a week and a half. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that's not quite ready, and some stuff that is ready. I like this. This is a nice piece of banded iron. It's got some nice uh, hematite bands in it. They're all nice and shiny and smooth. That's ready to move forward. I'm throwing that in the bucket of water. Here's part of an agate nodule. All nice and smooth and incredibly colorful. That's ready to move forward. Well, speaking of agate, I see a whole lot of this green agate down in here, green moss agate. Oh, yeah. And some of it's going to be ready, and some of it's not. Oh, so close, but not quite. That one's ready. Not. Not. Ready. Ready. Yeah, so some of these green moss agates are really, really pretty, too. They're going to be amazing when they're done like this one. Oh, my goodness, the moss in there. I do hope that is showing up. And that one's, re that one's ready. This one. So close, but I'm going to run, let it run a bit more. Oh, that is amazing moss in it, too, but it needs more time. This one's ready. Okay. Hope you can hear me over the rain. Petrified wood again. Oh, 
You know what? That's probably just going to break up if I continue to tumble it. But I would say on the whole, it is ready to go, and it's very pretty. So uh, we'll put that in the bucket. Um, oh, here's a carnelian agate nodule. I found rock pounding in Nebraska. That is not ready. Here's some very pretty uh, multicolored. Here's some very pretty multicolored jasper. I would say that's ready. Um, oh, that's a very pretty multicolored banded iron. That's a heavy rock. That is not quite ready. It needs to go some more. What's down here? Oh, look at that colors in that. Holy cow. Yeah, that is some amazing banded iron right there. Ooh, I think it needs to go for maybe another week and a half, two weeks in rough, but it's getting very close. Very close. Uh, again, banded iron. Oh, this one must have shattered because it's all rough on the back, even though it's really smooth everywhere else. The nice bands of hematite in it. This is obviously the money side right here, but oh, something shattered on the back, so that's going to have to go through rough a while longer. Uh, petrified wood. Not quite ready. Um, what in the world is that? I would say this is some sort of jasper. I don't really remember where I got it. Oh, it's got some eyes in it. It's very cool. But I would say that's ready to move forward, especially since it's jasper. It's not going to be as hard as the agates. So um, the next grid will continue cleaning it up. Uh, that's another carnelian agate I got in uh, Nebraska. That's not quite ready. Petrified wood. Close, but no cigar. Oh, agate. Agate nodule. Fortification banding over here. But it's not quite ready. Wow, this storm is getting bad. Uh, oh, wow, that is some super colorful petrified wood. I hope that is showing up. That, and, and super translucent, too, as you can see. So that's that's pretty. I want to move it forward. I'd say it's ready. Put that in the bucket. Um, so mustard-colored petrified wood. That just needs to go a little while longer. A bunch more of these green moss agates. That one's ready. That one's not. That one's not. That one's not. That one's ready and pretty. That was really pretty. And ready. Okay. Some more of that Badlands Chalcedony. This one's kind of colorful. Uh, it needs to go a little while longer. It's getting close, though. Getting close. Some very colorful chert. That one's ready. That is ready. Um, an agate nodule. Got some interesting detail in it. Some semi-translucent chalcedony. Not very colorful, but uh, it's tumbling up nice. I would say that's ready to move forward. Petrified wood, not ready. What else we got down here? Uh, hmm. I am not certain what in the world that is. Uh, very colorful. It's got some agate in it. Okay. I don't remember what this was, but uh, it, it's coming out nice. I'd say it's not quite ready to move forward, but it's almost there. Here's some more Badlands Chalcedony. Again, this needs to go a little while longer. Here's another piece of it. Got some nice bands in it. That needs to go a little while longer. And I think I see another piece down here. Yeah, this is kind of, oh, this is, this is all plumy inside. That's cool. That's coming along, too. I think this has only been in there for about a week and a half or two weeks. So this is really coming along, but it needs to go a little while longer. What do we got here? Like a couple pieces of banded iron. This one, I would say, is ready to move forward. This one, this one might fracture. 
on the whole, though, aside from that big fracture in it, I would say it's ready to move forward. It's very smooth otherwise, and that big fracture is never going to tumble out. So we'll take a risk and move it forward. Ooh, more Badlands Chalcedony. And this has got orange, yellow, and red, and pink uh, plumy stuff in it. And hints, only hints, though, of fortification banding. So close, so close. Another week and a half or so. Some intensely red jasper. Um, I would say with some green on this end. And I would say that's ready to move forward. Let's see. A uh, big chunk of, uh, oh, I know what this is. That's that weird jazz bag I found in the Wyoming, hot rock hounding. Close, very close, but it needs to go a little while longer. Um, another piece of agate nodule. Wow, look at the colors in that. I hope they're showing up. We got reds and purples and oranges. And that is super smooth, too. I'd say that's ready to move forward. Petrified wood. Needs to tumble some more. What we got here? That's a little half um, TP Canyon agate nodule I threw in here. It's coming along. I'm going to tumble it a little while longer just in hopes more of the uh, agate banding comes out. That, I believe, is petrified wood. Yes, it is. And that needs to tumble some more. More banded iron. Where's that banded iron? I would say that's banded jasper, actually, and I think that's ready to move forward. So that can go in the bucket. Oh, we had a little bit of a break there. The rain was coming down hard and the thunder was loud, so I just took a little break, but we're back at it now. I think this might be a micheloidal basalt. Lots of little vesicles filled with calcedony. That needs to go a little while longer. That's only been in there about a week and a half, so yeah. Um, another agate nodule. Uh, this might be one of the bubblegum agates I found in Nebraska. I see some banding in here, some pink and red banding. Yeah, more over here. I think that's one of the bubblegum agates. Uh, that needs to go a little more. I probably should have cut that in half, though, to see what it looks like on the inside. But it definitely needs to tumble some more. Some more banded iron. It's smoothing out pretty good on this side, but I can feel this side is really rough. Wow, there's a lot of hematite in this one. I wonder it's so heavy for its size. That definitely needs to go longer. Uh, petrified wood. Ooh, this is... You know what? I'm going to move this one forward. I think the next grip will clean up what little bit of roughness it still has on it. Let's see. Yeah, more petrified wood. This stuff's black with some white calcedony in it, but it's not quite ready. Close, but not quite ready. Getting down to it here. Uh, some more petrified wood. This one's not quite ready. This one. I'm going to move that one forward. Ah, some very interesting petrified wood. I've been hoping for this one to get ready to move forward. It's got some interesting orange, red, yellow veins in it. And I think it's ready. That one's going to move forward. That one's just a miscellaneous piece of petrified wood that must have spalled off something else, but it's got tumbled nice and smooth in here. Uh, let's see. More petrified wood. That needs a little more time. A couple more of the green moss agates. They both need a little more time. More petrified wood. This one, this one can move forward. That's ready to move forward. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Look at the colors in that petrified wood. Pinks and oranges and whites and reds. So close, so close, but it needs a little more time. I don't know. A little piece of agate must have spalled off something. Pretty rough. We'll leave it in there. Another green moss agate needs more time. Another part of an agate nodule. That needs a little more time. I'm not too worried about the small pieces of agate disappearing in there because it's, the agate's about the hardest stuff here. Uh, more petrified wood. I'm going to move that one forward. Ah, 
some agate, some uh, mossy inclusions. I'm going to move that one forward, petrified wood, and use the tumble more. All right, well, I hope you could hear me over the thunder and the rain while I was sorting stuff. I had to abort it early just because it got too bad. The rain was coming down too hard. The wind was blowing in horizontal underneath the canopy I've got set up here in my outdoor lab. Camera was getting wet. I was getting wet. Um, so I just had to had to stop. You didn't miss much. I was pretty much down to the bottom of the barrel anyway. Uh, a couple more pieces came out. I think they went in here. And uh, all right. So we are ready to move forward. The rain has let up. So let me get my ultrasonic cleaner out. These will go through the ultrasonic cleaner. And then they're going to go back in there along with some other rocks I have that have been through the ultrasonic cleaner. And they've been waiting on a, uh, a barrel that will be in uh, the sec in medium grit. So I'll go dig those up too while these are uh, in the ultrasonic cleaner. Well, what do you know? The sun's trying to come back out. All right. Boy, it's going to be humid as all get out once it does after that rain. Okay, let me put a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid in here. Not too much. I don't want to have a, a frothy bath here. And I'll turn on the ultrasonic cleaner. Oh, yeah. You see the mud coming off the rocks down there? Oh, yeah. This is why I do it. This is why I do it. It gets them good and clean. Gets that rough grit out of the nooks and crannies, so they'll be ready for the next grit. So I'm going to run, let this run for about 45 minutes as usual. This is only the first half. Second half will go in. Um, when these come out of here, they can go straight into the 12-pound tumbler barrel. And then uh, when the other half comes out, they can go in there too. Well, in a seriously amateur hour move, I forgot to turn my microphone on for this segment right here. But the uh, the rocks after their bath in the ultrasonic cleaner have gone back into the big tumbler drum. And I'm going to go get some other rocks that need stage two and put them in with it. They've been collecting for a while. So I've got a whole bunch of them. Actually, got more than I thought I had. This is actually going to fill the tumbler drum up higher than I was expecting it to. Not going to be any room to add any media. So we're just going to try tumbling the stones by themselves and see how that turns out. I'm going to put in a little bit more water than I normally would because I don't want them to crash into each other too hard at this stage and chip or fracture. So let me go get some stage two grit and get that in there. Okay, this is a big tumbler drum. So one, two, three, four, Five, six. That's a lot more than I would normally use with medium grit, but this is a big tumbler drum. So that may not be enough either. I'll check on it after a week or two and see how the how it's doing. If the grit's all disappeared, I'll put some fresh in and get it going again. Okay, let me put the date. And what we got in here, we got medium grit, and this is June 30th. All right, get this going again. And check on it in about a week, maybe a week and a half, and see how it looks. I can always add more grit to it then, if necessary. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this uh, uh, rain-drenched and thunder-interrupted video somewhat interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever. So give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. Bye.